All right, time to have a look at D-Day Dice Second Edition, uh, the expansion Way to Hell, uh, which I have also seen is uh, work with the first edition if you want that, but I'm gonna have it. I'm gonna play it with the second edition because that's the only one I own. Um, so it's a. This is the expansion I've been looking forward to the most because the main module of the game, The Way to Hell, is a short introductory minigame that lets you experience the terrible boat ride to reach the beaches. So basically it's uh, kind of uh, gives, uh, gives uh, I think, uh, every game quite a bit of add-on. I mean, you have all these modules which can modify the game and add some layers to it, but this actually adds a big map to it. So I think it's definitely the first uh, module or expansion that I'm going to learn to play with. We'll see if we can get it open. If you watched my previous unboxing videos, you know that I have had some trouble opening these uh, D-Day dice expansions. Alright, so that's the front of it. Let's have a look at the back. So, if you want to go ahead and read this, I'll give you a moment to pause the video. So, anyway, this expansion has five modules. It's uh, the main one, The Way to Hell, which adds these maps. Then you have also special missions. You have heroes. You have gold dice and you have the Supreme Headquarters Allied Expeditionary Force. So, if you want to know more about them, you can pause the video now and you can read about them. I think the gold dies are interesting too, because I think some maps are very hard and it seems like... Uh, seems to me like the gold dies, I'm not sure how you use them, but it seems like they can possibly make the game easier, like the, the badges module, which comes in Atlantic Wall expansion. Okay, that went well. Okay, so we have our D-Day Dice uh, Way to Hell rule book. Here we see the different different modules. So we'll see here how we're gonna add a entire map to our ordinary maps. And then we have the gold dice. <clears throat> solitaire trading. When playing solitaire, instead of rolling six dice for the lieutenant's trading pool, uh, roll four gold dice instead. These gold dice can be traded as described in the solitaire trading rules. That's cool. And you can choose to roll um, four dice plus one gold dice um, instead of six dice then I guess. So yeah, you have a bunch of ways to include the gold dice. You have your special missions and war heroes. And then you have your S-H-A-E-F. So, a bunch of different ways to play. We get a way to help scenario book. <coughs> Sorry. Utah Beach, Juno Beach, Kosis Bunker, Corsells, the Court Manor, and the Court Manor Assault, which is two maps, two to five players. <clears throat> and we have the new playable nation, which is that Supreme Commander. Um, so we get a bunch of reference cards here. Uh, six of them uh, for the Way to Hell expansion. <clears throat> you can see the RWBs are quite different. Lose one passenger. Lose four. A eight item points and so on. So here we go. Here we have the 
the new maps for let's see for the for the landing and if i remember correctly this means that this map will be for one to two players here we have one for three to four players and here we have one for five to six players <clears throat> so since this is a solitaire channel this is the one i'm gonna show so you'll see you'll start down here and you will advance here and i'm don't really remember uh, reading something about this being a safe zone but it doesn't look entirely safe with all that bombing going on and mines and so on so basically you will just put this map under your regular map so say for example that I would like to add it to Utah Beach I would add it like so I think that's pretty awesome because I mean the map becomes uh, double the size twice the size very nice so yeah, I'll show you quickly. We have the map here for three to four players. And then we have our map here for five to six players. And on the back of that, we have our Kosis Bunker, which is a new battle map. Quite a lot of stuff going on there. I can tell you, I don't know what half those icons mean. <laughs> and we have a new uh, Utah Beach here. and Juno Beach Sherman there on the beach and we have our Cosels some more some more vehicles there <clears throat> and finally we have Brecourt Manor A lot of 88s for some reason. Okay, so that's cool. Uh, we have, whoops, our new resource tracking uh, card or whatever you call this for the new playable nation. We have our landing craft here, as you can see. They look the same on, on both sides. and for our tracking nation and then we have this stuff again i'm gonna i'm gonna keep it this time i've been throwing it out but i think it might be nice to keep this is also for your resource card here we have our new dice we have uh, for our new nation the pink color and we have our expansion the the module the golden dice and we get a bunch of new cards here I'm going to show all of them to you. And like I do in all my videos, I'm just going to shuffle through them real fast and uh, stay for a moment for every card. So if there's a card you're interested in, I'll ask that you will pause the video. So first of all, we have a bunch of specialists here. I mean, these are the normal specialists which you will get in the base game just for the new uh, nation so nothing interesting there uh, you can find all that in the base game <clears throat> on top of that we have two regular items supply bag with the gold dice and we have a new orders those are for the special missions obviously and we have some ranking specialist and a unique specialist. So the unique specialist is the quartermaster. And we have a drill sergeant. And a general also play will play well with that gold die. And then we have a bunch of, let's see, we have a bunch of special missions here and field promotions. Let's have a look at the field promotions first. Uh, I don't know at all how this works, so I'm just going to go shuffle through them. If you are interested in a card, I'll ask that you pause the video and read yourself. So 
So those are our <coughs> field promotions. And then we have all our special missions. Oops. So those are all the special missions and we have one final deck here so uh, you see that I lied to you that's not all the special missions we have a few more here. <clears throat> special missions here Lieutenant Dick Winters anybody know that guy if you watch Band of Brothers you know him So those are all our special missions. And then we have a bunch of different cards here. Let's see. We have a naval specialist. We have another naval specialist for the Polish. Okay, so these are naval. This is the same guy used for different nations I see now. So they do different things though. So I'll show all of them. This is the American Naval Specialist. Then we have the, the British. Also these are specialists for the way to hell I'm guessing. The French. This is the... I don't even know what nation that is. Australia perhaps? New Zealand? The Brown Nation. And the Polish, I think it is. Seaman. And then our new playable nation here. Ship's mate. Okay. So we also get some new awards and new vehicles. An amphibious truck. Scout car. Tank destroyer. And our new awards are War Campaign Star, War Service Medal, and something in French that I'm not going to try to pronounce, as with the gold dice to do. And lastly we have a bunch of War Heroes. So we have Reserve War Heroes, regular ones. Let's see if I can divide them up. I'm going to show you the unique War Heroes first. Robert Kappa, that was the uh, war correspondent who, who went with uh, the war uh, phot photographer who went in one of the first waves on Omaha Beach. Uh, he wrote a book later on, partly about that experience. <clears throat> And then we have some ranking war heroes.
and we have some reserve war heroes that's hard to pronounce <clears throat> and finally we have our regular war heroes So those are all the cards which comes in the expansion and we got some new tokens and we got a bunch of new maps and I'm especially happy for those C maps. It's going to be really nice to figure out how to use them. Uh, looking forward to doing a playthrough video uh, with those soon. Uh, really nice expansion for the game. This is the one I'm most excited for. This is also going to be the last biggest big expansion unboxing i will do for the day dice the only one i will do except this one is the inside the bunker which is an expansion a min expansion a mini expansion <coughs> excuse me for both airborne in your pocket <coughs> and the day dice i think there is just one more expansion i think and that's the overlord expansion and since i'm a solitaire player i don't really think i need that one it's mainly focused on playing with more players on bigger maps. There are a few, I think, small modules in it that can be played in solitaire, but uh, I don't think um, I'm going to buy that one because, I mean, it's 99% uh, multiplayer focused. So anyway, uh, thank you for watching again, and please do subscribe and stay tuned to my next videos coming today of Airborne In Your Pocket Unboxing and Inside the Bunker.